up guys, it's Matthew Vick, and I got the redneck in the car right now. And we're out here at Lake Sonoma, archery only hunt guys. And we're at the boat launch, about to launch in. So hopefully we get into something. Look at the redneck. I'm ready to kill something guys. I only got this pen, but I'm gonna make it happen. Oh yeah. So we're checking in guys. It's 2019, we're about to smack something. It's about to get wild, guys. It's happening, guys. Let's get it. Now it is officially killing time, guys. We're out here at Lake Sonoma. Got the boat in the water. We're ready to go. We're scouting today, and we'll be hunting tomorrow morning. It's November 8th, and it's beautiful out here right now. So stay tuned, guys. I'm fitting to show you how to kill something. Well, hopefully. You want me to cut you half this piece of beef turkey, brother? Yeah, please. Matt's been asking me, what am I going to do if a boar comes after me? Well, I'm not going to be a sorry ass meal, let me tell you that. I am going to wait for the opportune moment, and I'm going to sidestep, and I'm going to stick that fucker right in the neck as hard as I can and hold on. Eight second ride, baby. I ain't letting go of this knife. I'm going to fucking just keep digging down, twisting, ripping, fucking. Hopefully, it won't come to that, but. If it does, so be it. So we made it on a gallon and probably a quarter worth of gas, but we're here, guys. Hog City, baby. This is our campsite right here. Check it out. It's going down, guys, so stay tuned. We're gonna scout the first day and try to stick something tomorrow. It don't get much better than this, guys. Check it out. It's beautiful out here. Sonoma County. Hog City. We're on the hunt for Hogzilla. Damn. It's a damn redneck. What's going on, redneck? Getting ready to kill shit. Ready to kill some. So, tip of the day from the redneck. Survival tip. If you forget your tent sticks, or you want to save on weight and leave them, bring a little knife. That way you can, you can make some. Here, we got a finished product right here. And that's going to work great for to stake down the tent. Redneck tank stick, guys. So did we bring enough food? This is just a Redneck's pack for two days worth of food. Can you hear, hear Don't I? forget the main source of calories, guys. 65 calories. Old duels. We'll put that in the camel pack while we're hiking these hills, guys. Oh, yeah. And I got me some uh, tuna fish granola bars. Got a little plate we're gonna, thing. We're gonna, be living, we're gonna be living like the old days, guys. We got some Valentino hot sauce, cheese spread. So if you guys know anything about spreads, that's what we'll be eating tonight. Hell yeah. The good old days without having to do the shit that it takes to live the good old days. So you know you're a redneck when you got a pack of cigarettes like this, guys. Hey. Kentucky's best. Three dollars and some change is better than ten fucking dollars and some change out here in the shithole of California. So yeah, he's a real redneck, guys. We're making some coffee, then we're about to go on the hike, so stay tuned. If you guys want to make coffee out in the woods, 
this and this is not a paid advertisement this is a good system right here jet boil this is the java flash and this fucker's badass we've making coffee while we were salmon fishing this year i mean it's, pre it's pretty cool for 100 bucks can't beat it so we're gonna go filter some water right now guys straight out the lake and we're gonna make some coffee out of it straight out that lake oh dude we ought to put that on the fucking into the pot guys and then into our systems and then it's gonna be hiking time lake water to coffee guys Here it comes. You getting it? Hey, nothing like Lake Sonoma in your cup. <laughs> so we're getting it. We're getting this real outdoorsman stuff right here, guys. We're getting the water from the lake. That's what you guys do out in the back cuts. Hell yeah. Oh, dude, no Survival wonder. Survival 101. That might help right there. You don't want that thing sucking up dirt if it goes on to the bottom. Oh, you're good. That's the sound of coffee, guys. French press. From lake to cup. You guys gotta watch these. I got a friend, Jim, you know who you are. Good dude, but he, he walked off the other day. He left one of these in his house. And he went and talked to his neighbor out front. And guess what happened? It boiled all the water away. And then he turned around and there's like two feet of flames coming off of it. And this little thing right here caught on fire. And I saw it. Fresh coffee in the cup, guys. Out the lake. Hmm. It's better than Starbucks. Okay. Seriously. So we're about to go on our hike after this coffee, guys. Hopefully we can get into something. Oh, it's wind. Thank God you put your damn shirt on, man. I just get tired of looking at this fat bastard. Fuck you, dude. Hey, it gets hot out here, guys. I gotta wear this for a couple days, so I'm trying to conserve it. Being as fucking, we're gonna be smelling each other's farts in that fucker. <laughs> yeah. And that little beast right there, he forgot both tents. He brought one tent. I forgot. But it's all right, though. Not bad, dude. It's all good. And this is not what you guys think it is either. Oh, <laughs> so what is that? That's that good. It's that coffee mate. That's that Splenda. I mix that up real good, you know? Maple coffee, Splenda, and Freemer. You look like a psychopath killer, dude. Aren't you happy to know me, dude? Oh, yeah, a <laughs> hog killer. We're gonna kill a fucking hog guy. There's a trail right there. Kind of. The redneck's been practicing something for 30 days and 30 nights. Show me what you've been practicing for 30 days and 30 nights, your moves. So we're hunting at Lake Sonoma right now, guys. And excuse me, if my back titties were hanging out. My mouth was <laughs> filming me. I didn't see that. Oh, shit. First of all, we're being shaved. This is non-alcoholic beer, and I've only had three. <laughs> oh, so, <laughs> we're at Lake Sonoma hunting and we can't have a sidearm I'd love to have my 44 Uncle Smith and Wesson make me feel real safe but we can't have them so we have Shred is second best and uh, it could happen one of us could stick something and one of us is gonna stick something and it's gonna be pissed off if it don't die right away I'd be pissed off so I'm thinking it's going to try and go out swinging, if you know what I mean. So I've been practicing a couple moves, and one is kind of like an old Indian style one. So you wait for the boar to charge you, and once you do this move, you are 110% absolutely committed. Do not let go of the knife. So you're just going to let it charge you, and you're going to hope to get down low and get it in the throat 
And if you can, get another handle on that knife and just start twisting, pulling back forth, whatever. Saw the shit out of that thing. And do not let go of the knife. And then, uh, so that's move one. I don't think that's my preferred one. So the other one is I'm going to wait for the boar to charge me and remain calm. And it's like last second, guys, right as the checkered flag's being dropped, you got to sidestep and stab that thing right in the neck or the spine. Either one, it seems like a great choice to me. I'll probably go for the spine because that's an easier target. And then just, it's rodeo time. So ride that thing around the lake until I lose the knife or it dies. And then uh, my final move was, I don't know if this is really a great one or not, but if it comes, I'm gonna try and sidestep and just go ape shit, guys. Just, just. <laughs> Holy shit. Just start slocking him as our buddy Tim Wells says he's not really our buddy we don't know him but we love your channel Tim Wells and you're gonna have competition coming soon because the rednecks gonna be slocking and that's what the rednecks been practicing for 30 days and 30 nights guys so this has been uh, self-protection with the redneck against a wild boar so stay tuned and Matt may have to hold my teeth while I'm swinging a knife at a boar like that. <laughs> Scouting from the boat. There's only a few ways to hike, guys. And that's with some old duels and some Agua. So we're about to hike, hike up this hill, guys. Let's see if we can find anything. So we are out here, seen one deer so far and nothing else yet. Seen some rooting and we're gonna hit the top of this hill and hit use the binoculars. See if we can see something guys, laying down. Look at that view. This fucking redneck right here got me fucking hiking up the highest hill ever. Look how steep it is, Sean. Shit ain't no joke. It's taking us about eight minutes to get this high above the lake. And we got a competition for our spot now. Oh yeah. It doesn't look like big competition. Just pig shit everywhere up here. 
and some big trails. On that trail, so the footprints everywhere. So dinner for the first night, Cuban coconut rice and black beans. And I threw a top ramen with some shrimp flavored seasoning. Look at the redneck guy. We got spicy sausage pasta with a beef top ramen, a Velveeta cheese pack. I think that's it. It's fucking awesome, guys. Show them, show them what it look like. We eat good no matter where we go, guys. Close molten bad, cheese boy. sauce on that thing. Oh yeah. It's getting cold out here, but we're about to warm it up. Morning of the hunt. It is 4.30 a.m. And it is open season. And it is going down. The redneck's got a little secret hunting juice. Keep us going all day strong, baby. Woo! That's like 20 cups of coffee right there. <laughs> the redneck almost forgot to brush his teeth this morning, but he remembered. Good to go. Let's go kill something. So it is opening day. We just climbed up a couple mountains and we're in this open area right here. Where we see it is coming and there's a lot of rubbing around here. So I'm gonna hang out here for a little bit and see what happens. So we just changed locations and we've been hiking for about 15 minutes. And the redneck just realized he forgot his release in the boat. So he had to go back and go get it. So now I'm waiting on his ass. So hunt and report. It's 10 o'clock. We ain't seen shit, but we seen a bunch of tracks and we found a spot that we're gonna go. Later on today at three o'clock and post up and see if we can drill something. Right, Redneck's got the tip of the day, guys. What's the tip of the day, Redneck? So when somebody asks you, have you have you seen him? Hell yeah, I seen him. I seen him live. The total opposite direction that you saw them. Or where you think they might be. It'd be like that sometimes. And that's the tip of the day from the redneck guys. So we're out here, we're gonna grub up and we're gonna head back out. And we're out here in Lake Sonoma, guys. It is beautiful today. This is fucking badass today. Yeah, and the fog is no joke out here. Oh, man. We was out there early this morning. And, like, we almost hit a couple, couple trees. And, yeah, it was, it was real real ugly out there. It was a survival situation real quick. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. Okay. We're out here at Lake Sonoma. It's time for a boar hunt. We're just checking our friggin' skills out, even though we know we got them. Smacked it. So we are about to sit in our homemade blind, guys. some brush, checked the wind, and found out where the pigs were at, our pen at, so we're going to set up shop, 
and post up for the rest of the day until night, guys. Let's see what happens. We just put that bad boy together. It's gonna be like shooting fish in a barrel. Let's see what happens. We post it here until dark, guys. So hunt report, we've seen a couple turkey, no hogs, and we're back in camp right now. But we had a great time, and we're hunting in the morning on the way out, guys. That's a one day trip, one day scout, one day hunting trip in a morning hunt. Remember guys, sometimes it's not all about the destination, the journey can be fun too. Oh yeah, so we might smack some in the morning, you never know. So we're about to eat some dinner. One of my favorite parts of the day. Cheese fries. Cooking with the redneck. So we only had a little bit of water tonight. We've been hiking and sitting all over the place today. Redneck's tired, so we're not gonna go get some more water. So we're making O'Doul's cinnamon apple crisp, guys. Oh, and the O'Doul's is boiling. And it tastes great. That's how we do it. So that's a that's that's a dessert. That's how to make dessert great again. And this <laughs> is a Mexican cowboy beans and brown rice. Now I don't get no American in this, guys. This shit is how good. It's fucking outstanding. And this isn't just regular apple crisp. Is what they're calling it. This is made with O'Doul's oh, because please. we ran out of water. And it's fire. I think this is like a new recipe. I'm going to pack an O'Doul's from now on when I bring this. And it is good. So the hunting trip is officially over, guys. We didn't see no pigs, but we'll be, we'll be back out here soon. We got to come back out. And Redneck, what's your channel called again? Backwoods? Backwoods hunting and fishing, people. And there ain't no filter on his channel, guys, nope. so check it out. I'm gonna be the next Tim Wells. I'm gonna go places where I can spear grizzly bears and all sorts of stuff. It's gonna take a while to get to that, but it's gonna, it's gonna get off the hook, guys. But we had a good time, so hit that like and subscribe button, you guys. Star and turkeys and... All <laughs> kinds of shit. So yeah, go check out his channel, guys. Oh yeah.